You probably noticed if you're going to mount a scope on your gun that you can buy a scope mount either in a two-piece or one-piece configuration for a lot of models. There's a reason for that. If uh, you want maximum rigidity, a lot of people will go with a one-piece like this. There's really nothing to go wrong. The other advantage to a one-piece scope mount is if you're using an old sporterized gun that was drilled by an amateur or maybe just one hole's a little off, this will make sure everything stays aligned as far as the two rings are concerned. Also, if you're doing long range shooting and you need some built-in cant with your scope base, these Picatinny rails with 20, 30, or 40 MOA built into them are great. And you normally don't see those in the two-piece. On the other hand, the two-piece system gives you one thing the others really don't, and that's more clearance for your fingers. If you're loading, unloading from the top, on, like on most bolt actions, that's the reason I personally prefer two-piece on my sporting guns. I can get my big fingers in and out of there, clear a jam, put cartridges in, take them out. Much more room to work with, especially if you're wearing gloves on a cold day. That's the big advantage to a two-piece. Again, that assumes that your gun is properly drilled and tapped and all your holes are aligned properly. And that's my personal preference. For long range or built-in cant, definitely a Picatinny. And for your old Mauser that was drilled with a hand drill or something, one piece the way to go. That way your rings will line up. If you have any questions about mounting a scope or what mount to use, give us a call on the tech line. We'll be glad to help you out. We sell hundreds of different mounts and they're all backed by our 100% unconditional forever satisfaction guarantee. Thanks for watching. See you next time.